Right. Um, welcome to MOCT discussion. This is the first episode. We are live to Facebook and LinkedIn. And we have a guest, uh, Naomi Jayavadana. Good morning to you. Good morning, Doctor. Right. It's a pleasure to have you on this first ep episode of MOCT live uh, discussion via LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, also, let me tell, tell everyone a, a brief introduction about MOCT. MOCT is made for people like uh, you who can showcase your talents um, because we are known only for one angle, uh, but there are many, many, many to be discovered. So MOCT created just for you, just for, uh, just to showcase your extreme talents. And I know you are an innovator. So this is MOCT live, the future talk, right? So Naomi, um, you're live now. Um, I would like to know I would like to know uh, a brief introduction about yourself. Okay, uh, thank you, Doctor. Uh, and it was really a pleasure for me to come for a uh, first uh, person to be a MOCT to attend. And um, I would say um, the MOCT is a kind of a uh, places. Um, I thought you lost, that's why. Uh, no, no, no. So, uh, okay. Please go ahead. So, Okay, so uh, I thought that MOCT is one of the best places to express ourselves. So as you said that, uh, talk about myself, um, I would say I'm a person who really believes in creativity and the new thinking line. And I want to use those two pillars to build the brands to the next level, uh, making them ordinary to extraordinary. So it's about me uh, in a holistic way. Very good, very good. So. This is, this is what actually I do, uh, Naomi, because um, um, it is no point that we lecture and lecture and lecture, and if we can't give um, a, what you call a space for the youth, for the future, uh, to, showcase their, to showcase their talents as well as to showcase who they are really. Because um, nowadays, um, people are not um, capable of only one. They are capable of many, and they are multi-talented, multitasking. So the, the, the meaning of MOCT, it's a Slovakian word uh, for the meaning of, to give the depiction of Ken, you know, and it's a newspaper that I created on my own. And then I thought, um, why not I can't open a platform with Restream um, to have a live discussion with people like you, right? So, um, so we have an innovator uh, on board in our studios today. Um, well, it's good, really good, um, because um, this is the opening one. And just, just to ask from you, for, for my curiosity, in one line, who you are? Uh, I would say, um, again, uh, I'm a creative person who's truly believe in creativity and innovations and I want to change the world through that and building brands. Very good. Now, um, if, if you look at me, I believe in uh, innovation or innovative um, ideas. Uh, that can turn around company, that can turn around lives. And uh, you have any um, innovations uh, that you have done so far? Uh, not a very big major ones. So I got an opportunity when I was working at Atlas because it's a very connecting to the children and parents and it's a very uh, good brand. Uh, to like be engaged and to do. And there I was like, got an opportunity to do that 3D innovation for book cover, just bringing ordinary book to extraordinary. And then also like we be able to create that understanding, the insight of a consumer that they really look for a knowledge and that to work, uh, we create a QR code and microsite, which is linked through QR code. Scanning a QR code, you can go to the microsite and there you can understand the book cover story and it will give you the knowledge and inspiration for the child to more uh, thrive in the knowledge uh, portal. Uh, so it's something like Wikipedia we want to build. So those type of innovations as well as the uh, kind of uh, understanding the pains of the uh, five grade five scholarship students and conceptualizing and initiating the Manasal okay, with the collectively with the team. So those are the kind of, I think when I talk about innovations, I will it come across to my mind. Uh, and also the ex world we created, uh, that's also all about the knowledge, how the child is going to engage in a very uh, happy and creative way with the book. 
So that that's how the just just normal a book exercise book we brought it to the a uh, little bit of extraordinary level. Oh. Wow. So, guys, we have the creator of the 3D uh, book cover that we saw uh, in Atlas uh, Atlas Book Range, and that was yeah. attracted by many kids. And um, when I bought the book for my daughter, yes, I saw that, uh, Nami. So, you're the creator. Good to know that. So, everyone who's um, live with us via Facebook and LinkedIn, you can see the creator of the 3D book cover, um, which was an inno total innovation in Sri Lanka and kids were basically mesmerized uh, with your innovation uh, Naomi so it's good to know that I I uh, am in conversation with that personality okay what is your biggest strength I would say uh, my biggest strength is the when you talk about the communication so uh, for marketer it's a communication is they you might think that it is come connecting with the consumer to talk about your brand to or buy your brand to be more sellable. It's like you kind of understand the deep insight of a consumer, bring it to the table and see what is the scope of that insight. And then you craft a, a single standard message and identify the target audience and deliver it through the different, different channels and the modes. It's a holistic, yes it is, but it has more than that. Uh, I would say, uh, yeah, communicating to a uh, consumer is just a part of the communication as a marketer or even the brand entrepreneur. So we have to look at it like holistically how we are going to communicate solid and specific and very crispy uh, communication to all stakeholders if you want to if you are building a project or you want to convince them and you want to bring them into the same page so that they will be a part of it and also they are going to be like kind of a people who are going to um, uh, the people who are going to carry that project with you. So, uh, uh, to me, uh, communication is uh, uh, has to be a very simple and very smooth, and it has to communicate to the right people at the right time. So that's how I define it. Uh, okay. So it's uh, internal as well as external efforts. So right. I think. So, so your biggest strength is, is is you're a good communicator. Can see that. Can see that. Yeah. Right, yeah. people, um, you're with uh, MOCT Live, uh, Future Talks with Naomi Javodhan as the guest. And her biggest strength is uh, she believes in communication and she is a communicator. So she elaborated it brilliantly. Um, there'll be a lot of surprises coming your way, Naomi. Um, still, you're not aware as to what's going to happen to you. And um, well, I, I was trying to build this concept of uh, brand entrepreneurship, which is going to be the future, and we are going to talk about it. Um, we, we, we spoke about strengths. What's your biggest weakness? I would say uh, my biggest weakness is when it comes to projects, if the time is not going to meet that deadline, I'm not going to meet the project deadline, I get really stressed. And... Um, get nervous and also I'm making the other people also a bit of stress, my, especially my team. So that's something I think I need to overcome and I'm kind of learning to be, first of all, to be calm at the situation and how I'm going to look at the alternative methods to uh, expedite my projects and also the help from other teams, how can they involve and help me to bring that. So that's how I'm kind of learning to develop uh, and Brilliant. minimize my weakness. Brilliant. And, and, and um, um, if you're a brand, if you're a brand, what is that brand? I think it's a very creative and powerful brand who want to take the leadership uh, okay. to give Name good one. things to people. Name one. Uh, it will be Naomi or it will be something, I don't know, I have not thought about it. It's a surprise to me, but <laughs> I kind of brand want to be uh, like that. It's not only the memorable, it's just that okay. for me to do good things to people. You know, okay, so, so if, if Naomi is a brand, what will be that brand? Red Cross? Um, or Apple? Or Fanta? Or what is that brand? Mm. Naomi is a brand. And, and, and what kind of a brand is going to be a global brand? What's, going, what's, what's the brand that you are equal to? Uh, I would say I would like to be a brand like Innocent brand. Uh, in UK, you have an Innocent called Innocent brand. 
which is a fruit juice brand. They say they're innocent because, but it's very powerful. I would say they give the authentic and original flavor to consumer and starting from their sorcering to end consumer, it's everything is uh, very uh, synergized and it will flow with that brand uh, values. Each and innocent. every stage. Yes, innocent. innocent. Innocent uh, brand in UK. Yes, it's a fruit juice brand. I really inspired with that. I think I would like to be a brand like that. So, which is very creative, and I think it's a powerful brand. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let me. Um, this is Innocent Store. Um, they call it. Uh, they have a whole heaps of. Uh, oh wow. Is that what you're referring to? There's a store also. I'm looking at the net. Yes. And they do, they are, they have a, like a sustainability story in that they, part of their bottle is recyclable. And, uh, and also they're helping uh, farmers. And it's the whole story connecting from, starting from the fruit to uh, end juice, okay. the consumer. Uh, it, it, there, there is, they are not selling just a product. They're selling a story. And also there is a true purpose. For them to stand as a brand so, so this I is think, what you're referring to yeah it's very colorful uh, very cheerful and very creative i would say and also a very powerful oh, uh, wow. for people to stand right so we we have the privilege of sharing the screen and and uh, this is this is what moc is all about when you speak we will display your thinking and uh, this is what you're referring to so uh, people who are out there live uh, she's referring to if naomi is a brand naomi stands for the innocent brand um, that's been in UK the fruit juice and they have a store as well right now why why marketing why you selected marketing because marketing is I'm so um, passionate to uh, build the brands grow the brands and want to build the brands to the next level I think brand is not just the element it's connecting human it's like a human you can grow engage you can perform and also give a lot of uh, happiness and um, usefulness to the end consumer so i'm kind of very satisfied when i look back my 15 years of career i was so satisfied whatever i have done and uh, i'm happy i was happy and i'm really happy what i'm doing so that's why i'm into marketing I'm okay right and um i'm going to ask um, one more one more direct question from you um well, um, 2012, uh, Naomi, I said marketing is over, marketing is dead, and people laughed at me, um, as usual, in this country, that's a, that's a norm, uh, they laugh at uh, new thinking, but slowly they will go and take that new thinking. And then I said, uh, brand marketing is going to be the concept, right? And uh, again, people said, hi, yo, he's crazy, he's, not, he's trying to relate marketing and branding together and coin the name. And on 2013 and 14, I saw forums coming up slowly in Sri Lanka talking about brand marketing, right? So then I asked, now you all laughed at me, but you are talking about brand marketing because marketing is finished, it's, it's gone, right? And uh, brand marketing was the future. But I'm saying brand marketing or branding is also finished. It's, it's going uh, nowhere now. But brand entrepreneurship, is the future so i'm disputing um your thinking right so you're not going to be a brand manager anymore they're looking for a brand entrepreneur agree or disagree i agree because right now also what we do is uh, the even the organization expected not they might be not knowing or unknowingly expect us to be a, like a mini ceos we have to kind of look at all the seven pieces uh, at once and that's why i say the communication is not only a consumer it's all about like how you engaging with all your stakeholders and understanding them through the solid communication it's just like as i said communication is a part of it so you need to kind of understand the source and the pricing costing structures and how the channel works how do you how how it be like uh, be connecting to your consumer so holistically 360 degree you need to look at the business like a owner or the entrepreneur so it's like a brand yes brand is coming to the entrepreneurship that's the expectation for the right now in the right current brand management right um now me if i change topics uh, tell us about your family 
uh, we are a very small family, like myself, my mother and my grandmother. Uh, we live in New Kota, and uh, my grandmother, she's 90 years old. I'm so proud oh. about it. Long life. And, yes. God bless you. Uh, thank you. And the, we are, I would say I'm blessed to have, even though it's a small family, we are blessed to have that type of family. And I'm very confident and they are kind of a people who are behind me and uh, who I am today because of my family and also the people who I met into my, throughout my journey, my colleagues and my bosses. Okay, who's your best friend? I would say my best friend is my mother. Oh, yes. uh, that's she, sweet. Yes. And, okay. And there were some bunch of best friends, but you she's can mention. One. You can mention their name. Uh, okay, so I would say um, <laughs> it, it's it's unfair if I say that some people will get hurt. <laughs> hurt. Okay. <laughs> want to. Yeah. All right. So good. So in 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 two thousand thirty. Uh, what kind of a person you will be? In 2030, uh, very interesting question. So I want to be a stand as a person who just uh, not a, just like as you said, brand manager or brand person. It's a person who building a sustainable brands to the world or sustainable some sort of products to the world and which is connecting very creatively, strongly connecting creatively to the consumer to make their life a better way. Uh, so that's how I want. And also I'm very keen to uh, help small SME sector people. So, you know, SME is something growing in Sri Lanka and also in the world. They are, some people, they do really creative work and they kind of understand the cost-effective work. Some are not their struggle, so I want to kind of help them also. Okay, so you're going to be an ambassador um, for for yourself as well as for for many brands. Um, well, talking about youth, um, Naomi, now, um, when we were uh, very young, um, we didn't have the uh, you know luxury of what the current youth is having, but but if you look at on 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 contrary uh, the facebook uh, you know deaths uh, the suicides have been increasing and frustration uh, gaming um, because of gaming the suicides been um, increasing but during our time um, there's hardly any um, suicidal or uh, suicide deaths been reported but now you can see that um, most of the youth is getting frustrated and um, um, the lack of reading, uh, they are into a very uh, minuscule uh, monitor where they can uh, see the world. But what future holds for our young generation? I would say it's all about the virtuality. So the young generation, as you said, that uh, there was a, a disconnect between what they learn and edu the education and what is the, the, when they come to the real picture. So that, that's something uh, I think uh, as a human and as a citizens, we need to carefully look at what is. I think that's what that currently also Atlas is a lot of, I would, I would like to mention as a brand, they are helping people to overcome, especially for children to overcome like that. Uh, so uh, like you said, like you mentioned, the future is all about virtual. So I feel as a marketer, what I can say is it's about I'm thinking the frictionless shopping experience or frictionless marketing where uh, yeah. like uh, when the consumer wants to buy a product or the brand so they will go in the digitally they can see the material that is that is available which country what who bought, who's who's the one who engaged in that production what sort of uh, amount of uh, goods are available in the stores, where it is, right. where the channel, exactly like within a one minute, you access to everything and it will give you also opportunity as a brand person to engage and showcase why that brand is standing with them. What is the right. purpose of them to buy? So it's right. all virtual world right. and after sales service including. So I think youth has to kind of adapt it, not only marketing to any other like finance or HR or whatever in, in the virtual space, like intellectual space. I can right. see that uh, Alibaba owner, uh, hmm. he was saying that, Jack that we are going to, Jack Ma. yeah, Jack Ma. So Jack Ma was telling we are not going to compete with humans, we are going to compete with robots. So that's, I see as a very uh, complex era is coming and we need to kind of, youth has to prepare for that by right. learning and engaging. Right. The digital. So, 
Okay, so basically, uh, the youth is heading towards a, a, a virtual uh, world uh, predominantly. That's what you're saying. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, let me let me show you something. Um, let me show. Let me share the screen, um, Naomi. Um, this is um, rise of the machines uh, and marketing. Um, this is something that I wrote, um, um, which with regards to. Uh, um, you know how how the uh, the, the uh, techno innovation is going to happen, and and also um, this is rise of the machine, right? This uh, this was featured on um, January twentieth, um, two thousand twenty one, and 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 before this, um, you know there was another article I wrote about um, um, a very uh, what do you call. Um, a kind of a tech in, you know, invasion where we see um, technocrats coming into play, right? So our future heading towards a very uh, techno or tech, tech driven um, um, things, you know. But when I wrote that uh, article uh, to, to uh, Daily FP, many asked from me, are you trying to create something that is not there, right? But why I wrote this is to show them that there is there is development happening already, right? Um, let me see whether I can get hold of one uh, a concept uh, that is uh, Sof Sophia the robot, right? Sophia the robot, right? Now I want you to see this. This is absolutely brilliant uh, because Sophia. Um, can basically track your emotions, right? It's a speaking robot. She has feelings. Yeah. She gets to know you. So, the, and she has got the citizenship um, uh, also in a country. Um, and they are still testing where robots can come into play, right? So, rise of the machines is near. It's going to happen very soon. Now, my question is, Naomi, with your experience, um, this uh, chief finance officer, chief executive officer, chief operations officer, or this big, you know, big uh, kind of heavyweight uh, titles, right? I'm giving my voice power to it. <laughs> with this big heavyweight titles will soon be obsolete. And you will have Alexia in next to you who's turning off when you say Alexia play music, he play music. You when you when you say Alexia uh, switch off the lights, he'll switch off the lights for you. When you say Alexia turn on my Apple computer, he'll turn on the computer. Very soon you'll be saying Sophia, can you do a marketing plan for me, for my uh, ABC brand? And Sophia will do the marketing plan for you. So you don't need you don't need brand managers anymore. You don't need uh, chief financial officers. There'll be AI systems coming into place to track down. There'll be uh, drones going all across the country of delivering goods like what um, Amazon is doing. And you can book um, uh, a 20 minute ride to space with um, Jeff Bezos or Mr. Richard Branson. Um, so that's where we are heading to. You think that this title will be obsolete? A very tough question. <laughs> so that's the beauty it, of think, <laughs> It's yeah, not like so other texts. It's I think uh, they to to sustain it to those uh, titles, as you said, that uh, for them to be extraordinary, uh, kind of they go that's why they have to go beyond the robots. So they have to think what is the value addition if I'm a CEO, I'm going to give beyond the robot. So that is a spare if that uh, topic is going to exist in the world or in the market or in this country. Uh, that's how the individual of CEO, CFO, CEO has to look at it in that way. So that's why we need to kind of build like something always. Uh, I'm believing in giving something extra. Like if it's 100, it's not 100, it's always 110%. So what is that extra 10% you are going to give it to the people? Is it your time or is it your thinking or is it your strategy you're going to craft in which is different to others. So it also competing about the robotic, but because the robots also going to create through human. 
if a human is going I'm, to... I'm going to interrupt. But if a yeah. robot is created by a robot, what happens? That is something I, I haven't, honestly have not thought about. But it I is, think, uh, it's not a science fiction. It's not a science fiction. There'll be, there will be. Um, I'm also researching into it. Hopefully, I'll be alive to see that robots making robots. Uh, there'll be um, a generation of robots, right? Um, because uh, robots might get the intelligence power, and they might go beyond that. So human can create it. But if I have three robots in my office, right, one for finance, one for marketing, and one for, uh, say, human resource, why I should hire a head of uh, human resource or a head of finance when I have everything is on machine bound? Yeah. So it is something <laughs> you need to kind of really people has to think and kind of see what is the future heads. They have to be like kind of uh, beyond the expectation. It, okay. It's not like you work hard or it's like more than a smart work. It's like you have to think and think and craft it. Because uh, if you talk about anything, any physical thing which is not life, you're talking about non-living thing. Non-living thing also made of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, all these Absolutely. elements. Absolutely. So those are like uh, elements in this earth. So it's just, there's a connectivity of from energy to an, an, another energy source. So you're, you're talking about the universe uh, or universal energy and universal effect of uh, the all these uh, and non-living things are going to control the living kind of a conceptualization. So that is something people have to be careful, like Jack Ma said. Yes, we are going to uh, compete with robots. That's why he okay. said. Yeah. Right. And so where will you be with them, with the robots, if you are the future? I think I'm, I want to lead them. And I want to give the creativity. And I'm the one who are going to give that creativity and innovation to them about on top of that if I be in the okay. future. If you're challenged by adversity or a difficult situation, Naomi, will you break down and cry or will you fight back? Uh, I think I will, first of all, I will challenge, I will ask why, the question of why are they doing, asking me or challenging me like that. I will give a little bit of space of time to think through it uh, instead of like suddenly fighting back. You know, if it is a real reasonable, then I will kind of, uh, it's not backing off. I'm, again, I'm, I'm not going to give up. I'm not a person who's never going to give up. If I, I, I believe that even if I fail, that again, I have to work from scratch to come into that level. I have that mindset. I'm a person like that. But I always give a space if somebody is arguing and uh, giving me a rebellious way of not doing that, I will... I, I was not a that type of person. I was kind of a person, very, very rigid character. But it, 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 through my experience, I understood. So we need to work with the people and uh, ask the question, why are they telling that? And we have to go two, three layers beyond those five whys at least to understand. And then you have to come back with a okay. solution and Brilliant. then the Brilliant. counterplay. Okay. See, uh, Naomi, this is... Uh, this is the newspaper that uh, basically I printed on my own, right? And you can see the headline. And um, this was given to um, so many youth in the country. And uh, this has um, the first, I mean, this, this is a February issue. Technology in 2025, right? Um, prepare for the fourth industrial revolution. Um, I picked this article. And then we have uh, the news formal, uh, the new formal. Uh, we are talking about that. And then um, um, I have another article as Josh Gates, uh, the discoverer, and where will Coca-Cola be in five years? So, um, and also, you are, the first surprise for you is that you will get this um, to your hand. That's the first surprise. Okay. Right? Thank you so much. And I'm very excited. You, right? yeah. And uh, you can contribute to this. And there'll be more coming up, right? Um, that's, that's number one. See, um, those who are listening to us live, uh, this is MOCT with Dr. Hashan Travis Hapatanti, uh, the Future Talk. This discussion started uh, three days or four days ago with Naomi. 
and I've been studying Naomi as to uh, how she's totally getting prepared for it. She's um, she messaged me, she uh, emailed her presentations, she asked questions from me. So this is exactly how it works. So if you would like to come, please uh, uh, talk to me. I have reached for some people, and uh, and she came first, and she said I'm going to come. So uh, this is not a reality show, but it's a platform for you to uh, showcase who you are. And um, Naomi is a, is a great communicator. She's a leader. She has handled um, uh, major brands, um, and especially Atlas. Yes, uh, we all love Atlas. The way, they, uh, the way they market themselves is absolutely brilliant. And um, the history of Atlas is absolutely fascinating. Um, it was, it's all started in Paliagoda just to give you a little brief. And um, it's under Mr. Madanayaka, uh, the family. And uh, yeah, now it is like acquired by 2018. It was acquired by Hamas. Hamas, yeah. Yeah. And so... how, how Atlas came to play, uh, they had only a um, care brand. Um, that is all the seed plankton and, and uh, what do you call chemicals. And then the, the two sons. Uh, wanted to introduce a new range of pens to Sri Lanka because we had a brand called Reynolds and there was no competitor for Reynolds. And Reynolds and Oryx are the two brands uh, that we had when, when we were uh, kids. And uh, suddenly, uh, the tungsten ball point, uh, point uh, of the pen uh, being acquired by Atlas, the technology uh, acquired. And the first few pens were brought to my home um, because my mom was working for Atlas, right? And the first few pens broke. When you write, it's the, the barrel started breaking. It's a see-through barrel, right? So if someone listening uh, um, from Atlas, uh, they'll, they'll know this history. So tests after tests were done. A tungsten ballpoint um, point was, was uh, achieved and the barrel was uh, strengthened. And there we have a local brand competing with Renault's. And that was Atlas. And there were stickers being given for kids. And we used to collect those stickers. I can still remember the first sticker that they launched is the Challenger shuttle on the left hand and says Atlas is the best. <clears throat> I still have the sticker. Um, one day I will uh, be able to put it to Facebook. That's the beginning of Atlas. And Atlas really challenged Reynolds and they became a big brand. They acquired Home Run Pastel as well from Shaw Wallace. And uh, today is a huge brand, right? And you are part of that team. I know uh, we met before on a workshop, uh, Naomi, and um, who's Ramani, right? Ramani, uh, Mrs. Ramani Samarasun, yes. Yeah, one of my good friends. And I uh, hope uh, Ramani will uh, receive this news that we uh, appreciate. She's a very nice person, uh, very uh, authentic, uh, very professionally driven uh, mastermind, I would say. so. Here, here, MOCT is the platform that we talk majorly about you, about others who have contributed to this economy to grow. Uh, there is no, um, what do you call, uh, cutthroats or gossip in this channel, right? So just a while ago, Naomi is being um, given the paper and many more to come. Naomi, my last question is, um, um, if you were not a marketer, right? Uh, what were the chances of your moving into a different area? Who you would have been? Uh, actually, I'm um, originally I studied microbiology, uh, and I did my I didn't complete my masters fully, but I was in, did the experimental biotechnology <coughs> also in Sri Lanka. But uh, degree I did it in India, uh, so I'm a, I'm a basically microbiology student who oh. turned around my career to the marketing. So if I would have not come across certain situations in my life, I would have gone through that via microbiologist. Oh, wow. My, my expertise. So that's why you have that, in, what you call that uh, mind goes into detail. Oh, I see. Okay. What's your school, uh, Naomi? I'm there to Anula All right. Okay. And remember, who was your first teacher and the last teacher? Mm -hmm. I think I, yes, uh, last, yes, both I can remember. I can't remember their names, unfortunately. So Understandable, I understand. No, that's okay. So you still love your school? Of course, yes. Okay, you're proud? Of course, I'm proud to be here. 
Oh, right. Okay. That's the spirit. That's what the MOCT is all about. Uh, Naomi, because here we don't talk gossip, we don't talk, we don't criticize other people. We appreciate and we envision uh, that our thinking to the future, right? Right. Your second gift is uh, going to be, you'll be getting my book, my second edition via okay. post, right? And like I told um, just a while ago, MOCD discussion started uh, three, four days ago with Naomi, and she was very, very um, uh, careful about what she's talking, and the details were given, shared. It's a like it's like a mini uh, exam, you know. So without her knowledge, her knowledge being tested, and today mm -hmm. she's live, um, um, you know, with MOCT and talking about herself. Okay, one more. Um, what do you call? Um, what is the best? I mean, let me put it this way because normally people ask at the end of the show, do you have something to say to the youth? Right? I'm not going to ask that. If, um, if at all, if you're going to be a mentor for someone, right? why they should follow you? Uh, <clears throat> they should uh, follow me because uh, I think I'm kind of a person who uh, whatever the uh, area I'm handling uh, with them, I'm, I want to kind of start from scratch with them. I, I be with them from scratch. So my leadership skill is not only uh, giving uh, kind of telling things to do, it's also being with them and motivate them. And I want to build the people to the next level. That's wow. my spirit. And that I'm very keen on, especially this insight of I mean, defined insight and visualization. How is this whole branding and marketing will be uh, playing for that prospective brand? Uh, how it will be connecting into that? So those are the things I really want people to uh, teach because other things, anyway, the process is there, so they have to follow the process. If the company has a process, they can go through that process. So those are additional information, additional knowledge, and expertization I want to kind of build. Right. Tell me, uh, if at all, if you want to be in an organization in Sri Lanka, what are the organizations that you prefer to be in? Uh, I would say uh, it's a very, uh, I, I kind of don't want to answer that question but i like to be in the if i say uh, not the name in the industry wise i really industry like wise, food yeah. okay. i like the food industry very much uh, and also the personal care industry so those are the two of my favorite industry which and the, the Dell majors really really enjoyed it uh being there and then i think I'm, i like to be in the food industry food the most industry. okay so they are uh, headhunters and uh, if you want a professional to come into your organization. There we have now Mija Vardana. Um, you can um, go to her LinkedIn profile or, or Insta, and you can be in touch with her. Energetic, innovative, very careful thinker, um, microbiologist. Am I right? I'm not a microbiologist. I'm a microbiologist student okay. uh, who not follow the degree. Really not for marketing. You'll be uh, ended up in. But but look at the mentality of. Uh, this lady over here, very careful in answering because the brain, uh, a person who has wants to be a microbiologist and <clears throat> turn into a marketer, uh, has a very um, detailed brain. Um, and I, I, I know for, for, for sure science graduates who have turned into marketing um, by default or by design um, or, and commerce students who have turned into sales and marketing is totally different. Uh, approaches they take <clears throat> right and um, so what I want to tell is that uh, those who wants to come to sales and marketing and and uh, business strategy well you're welcome uh, the door is open for anyone it's not just a job you have to have some sales experience it's better to be, be a sales rep at the beginning and then you can pursue your uh, career uh, pursue your great career through marketing and you can become a marketing strategist and you can even go for uh, other countries because strategists, uh, there's a scarcity for strategists, right? So um, organizations, headhunters, we have a person um, here who wants to take the company to the next level. Uh, you can consult Naomi. Uh, Naomi, um, 
you know uh, it's, a, it's a huge challenge right yeah, now I, actually i want to tell i didn't come for that i just honestly want to kind of uh, come to have a discussion it's not for the anything right of. yeah but because MOC, of that yeah. uh, so it's purely to talk about like what i really like and what i did and i just want to kind of share a few details uh, it's the objective not that yeah but MOCT stands for people right um uh, we don't just ask you to come but you'll be benefited at the end of the day right and uh, finally you are certified as a brand entrepreneur and this is your certificate okay and this will be uh, posted to you soon and you will be get it this is from my academy uh, which i gladly present uh, which has a global presence also and so you have you got three surprises okay now finally before we conclude it's almost 40 minutes now before we conclude this live uh, on facebook and linkedin um, what's your idea on MOCT live the future talk program the first episode i think it's really uh, i was really excited and uh, it's a very good platform for people to come and speak it's if you're a marketer especially i'm talking to marketers you'll be able to express yourself who you are you don't have to be shy to do that and i think the doctor has given him opportunity and he's put a lot of his energy effort and time uh, to create this and i have not seen in sri lanka it's such a forum to come I, i'm not, i may be not knowing about it but i'm not aware about that or i have not been invited to that so thank you again doctor for giving this brilliant opportunity for me to come and speak about it's really interesting and really enjoyed uh, again talking and of course it's a communication and i really liked it brilliant i mean um glad to know that you appreciate the whole thing yes there's a lot of effort went into this a lot of thinking uh went into this this is nothing to do with uh, earning money or anything but my whole idea is to showcase unspoken side of brilliant people in sri lanka it's like um a brand manager will get an award but the copywriter who wrote the copy will never get an award right um and um, just that's the example you know i had in mind because there are people who are extremely brilliant but they the people see only one side of them right it's not like in other countries where you have been appreciated for many but you are appreciated only for one or two aspects so um ladies and gentlemen and sri lankans and those who are listening um, overseas um or via facebook and linkedin uh, and thank you restream um well i i have this experience a um, couple of days ago that the signal got dropped and i thought i won't be, air, uh, be able to air it via restream but restream team uh, i know you're listening thank you very much privilege to use restream as my uh, studio uh, for mocti the future talk and thank you very much now micha wadana um you are absolutely brilliant so mocit format is totally different um we play to the strength we don't play to your weakness we don't make you emotional we want to make you a leader we want to portray uh, you as a leader so yes we only talk about the positive sides we don't talk about negative so that's mocit stands for the future and for the intellect so thank you naomi once again um okay. you get all your uh, surprises via post and hope if the lockdown goes off i'll be uh, happy to come and give it to you and take a photograph with you okay we'll thank never... you so much doctor i know a lot of first uh, surprises and thank you so much <laughs> we'll never forget that uh, you're the first man on moon with the mocti uh, future talk so thank you very much and i'm sure you're happy and please share this with your friends and ask anyone to join to talk about strength talk about positivity thank you very much okay. god bless you thank you and yeah, stay safe doctor yes stay safe for you yeah thank you